Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we are going to show you how you can deploy QTS Cloud on a Hyper-V server. Okay. So for the sake of this video, uh, I'm going to use uh, Windows 2012 server. So that means we are going to use uh, Hyper-V server 2012 version. Okay. So let's get started. So I'll directly log into my uh, uh, to my uh, Windows 2012 uh, machine, and uh, this is and this is the uh, Hyper-V user interface that you can see here. Okay, so first what you need to do is once you have logged into your uh, uh, server, uh, what you can do is you can download the QTS Cloud uh, uh, Hyper-V uh, image or the zip file from the, Q uh, from the QTS Cloud download center. So in order to do that, let me just go to Google Chrome and uh, uh, in Google you can just type uh, QTS Cloud download okay and click on the second link sorry this is in chinese let me change the language <coughs> to global okay so this is the qts cloud uh, download center so in the qts cloud don download center what you will see is you will find each and every uh, image uh, here and uh, also you will uh, uh, also you will see of which image is uh, suitable for which particular plat uh, platform so you can download the QTS Cloud image here. Right now, our uh, the version which we are planning to release for uh, Hyper-V is not released yet. But once you uh, once it is done, uh, you will be able to find it here. Okay. So you download the version which is suitable for uh, Hyper-V, which is basically a zip file. What we have done is we have uh, we have a combined. Uh, uh, it's not. I mean, you don't just need a, a VHD file. We have created a zip file which will contain the entire virtual machine and uh, you can directly import that uh, virtual machine you, using that zip file you can directly import okay so i have already downloaded it and this is the zip file that we had and uh, you what you need to do is you need to unzip it and you know, this is the unzipped file okay having done that the first thing we need to do is okay so now let's we go to our uh, uh, we can go to uh, our hyper-v manager what i'll do is i will just uh, pause uh, the other uh, uh, running uh, uh, pause the other uh, running virtual machine so that we are not short of memory when we need to run our uh, QTS cloud okay so I'll just uh, turn off these for the moment okay okay so the next thing what we need to do is you have to click on import virtual machine this and click on next once you do that click on the browse button and give select the folder the unzipped folder okay so the root unzipped folder just click on select folder and go to next and uh, this is the name uh, you can keep it or you can change it later and choose copy the virtual machine option okay and click on the next button here and uh, go next and uh, you, you can save uh, to some other machine so let's you can save to some other folder so let's create a new folder called uh, let's call it new folder okay and you select that folder okay so where you want to import your virtual machine where your virtual machine will be saved in this new folder okay and uh, you can select uh, in for my case uh, the connection available is this one so I'll use this but uh, how you want to configure your uh, Hyper-V server what kind of connection you want to go, uh, you want to have it totally depends on you for our case uh, we have kept uh, this uh, network which allows us to access uh, virtual machine from outside as well okay so it totally depends on your network settings uh, uh, how you want to access uh, how, how you want to configure your network it's totally up to you and click on next and then finish okay so that's it so your virtual machine is uh, ready for use okay and all we need to do right now is just we have to uh, add one extra disk that is a 200 GB disk to our uh, VM to our virtual machine okay and um, yes yeah, so I think this is the one we just created sorry and what I'll do is I'll just rename it to something which is less confusing so let's call it uh, demo VM okay so this is our demo VM so this is the one we just created so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one 200 gb disk to this one so uh, what you need to do is just go to the settings here click on SKC controller click on add hard drive 
click on new and next select the VHDX format okay and click on next uh, you can select the dynamically expanding option okay dynamically expanding option will uh, ensure that when your uh, hard disk is about to full it will automatically uh, start as, uh, allocating or it will uh, automatically start expanding okay so totally depends on your case uh, which kind of hard disk you want to attach I mean this is completely up to you I'm choosing dynamically expanding and I click on the next button and better to choose the same folder that you chose for uh, uh, for your virtual machine okay so new folder and click on next and uh, let's assign at least 200 GB of disk and click on next button and click on finish once we do that just click on apply and okay and uh, yeah so I think that's it so our demo uh, VM is ready all I have to do is just click on the start button here and our VM will start running okay so yeah you can see it's running now so if you want to see just double click it and you can see it's running in the console okay so it will take some time uh, to s boot the machine because this is oh, starting for the very first time you can see here yeah so you can see everything so this is for the very first time of opening so you know normally it takes uh, some time to boot the machine so yeah so that's why uh, what I have is I have another machine which I created and uh, just so that we don't have to wait for our, uh, our demo VM to boot up completely what we can do is we can just open this one and this one is already booted up so once the boot will finish you will be uh, you will uh, you know you will see the screen now as you can see here just just above the just above this welcome to QNAP products there is one line here you can see here this one so this contains the IP address 1065 what we need is we need the IP address okay so normally this IP address will appear just before the login okay and uh, let's type this IP address in our Chrome and we should be able to connect to this VM okay so 1065 <clears throat> so let's close all these things Ten sixty five. Uh, I forgot. Ten sixty five. Twenty two forty four. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ten sixty five. Twenty two forty four. Let's open. And yes, this is your virtual machine. Okay. So this is the one I just created uh, before. Uh, I mean, I just created uh, before uh, we started the video and uh, once our uh, demo vm will also uh, successfully boot up i'll show you that you can uh, find the ip address of that one also and just type the ip address in the chrome browser and you will be able to start your virtual machine okay so let's see if uh, our demo vm is also started out started or not so let's close the this one the console and our demo vm the one which we are using right now uh, which we created right just now uh, i think it's still booting up okay so once it boots up, uh, you will be able to see the IP address. So uh, in the meantime, let me show you here. Yeah, so this is the, once uh, you get the IP address, you type and in the Chrome browser and you will be redirected to the, uh, you know, web interface of QTS Cloud. Then all you have to do is just click on the smart installation button and it will it will ask you for the license key, okay? So in this video, uh, I'm not going to show you how you can, uh, uh, enter the license key how you can generate the license key and how you can initialize the QTS cloud because we have already covered that in another video the purpose of this video was to just to show you uh, how easily you can create a QTS cloud instance uh, in Hyper-V server okay so for any other video that you uh, for other videos like how to initialize how to generate uh, activation license key uh, you can go to our tutorial site and uh, you can get all the videos all the help material there okay so let's see if our demo VM has successfully booted up or not so let's connect to this one I think it's uh, still still not started so maybe it will take some time never nevertheless I think once it starts uh, 
we'll see the IP address and all we have to do is just go in the web browser and type the IP address okay so yeah so that's all for uh, today's uh, video uh, do let us know uh, if there is any feedback any comment or any help you need and uh, uh, this video was done using uh, Windows Server 2012 uh, but uh, we also support Windows Server 2016 and 2019 as well so uh, I think uh, as far as uh, Hyper-V manager is concerned the user interface uh, for I think 2019 and 2016 is the same so I think uh, you can refer to this video for even for the latest versions of uh, uh, Hyper-V server okay so uh, thank you guys for watching and please do provide us your feedback thank you